Okay, so today I'm going to talk about creating a simple landing page. And step one is to create a form. So we go up and we select forms. And we go to builder. Because we want to build a form. And I'm actually just going to add a new form here. Now I've obviously got lots of forms in here. And I put them in folders so that I can find them. And for example, we've got um, sample forms here that are for... Um, lead generation so if I go back though um, I'm just going to go into that folder and we're going to create a new form so I can find it so it's now created a basic form for us first thing we need to do is give it a name so I'm just going to call this one demo up the top Oops, let's get it right. Demo, and we can actually change any of these fields or add more fields, and the fields are added by clicking over here. Now, one of the things I do is I usually delete both of these, first name and last name, and then I'll add in full name. So we can grab that and just push it in there. It's um, in the wrong spot, so what we do is we get that and move it, get that and move it up, and that's it. So we've got the, the form named and we've got the information we want to capture and there's lots more things over here that you can add if you want the phone numbers it's there already you can add a button we can uh, add request an address the city state so there's lots of stuff we can ask for you can also highlight and put text in here so we could put in you know uh, anything in here we can go So just add your details and we save that form. Right. That's step one. So we've created the form that people are going to fill in. We back out of this stage. The next thing we do then is we go into funnels because we want to create a funnel for people to fill in to get the information. So, and again, I'm going to go down into lead magnets. We've got various lead magnets in here. I'm going to create a new funnel. I'm going to give it a name of demo. I want to keep all the names uh, similar or close to what <coughs> our form name is so we can relate them all together. We add a new step because you can have multiple steps in the form. Just going to go to demo. Demo and we call it demo. Now one of the things it's going to ask us um, shortly is what domain we need to associate the form with. Okay, so We've got a blank form here, it just says there's nothing in it. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a page. So this is the landing page itself. Okay, and this is a page builder. So what we wanna do is we wanna have a full width page. What do I wanna do? I wanna put, um, in this case, I'm gonna put two columns on it. And in the first column, I'm going to actually in the second column over here, we'll do first, I'm just going to add the form that we've created. We can select from the forms we've created and we just do that. So we've got the demo form. It's now added the form to the page. Over this side, I'm just going to add an image. So if we scroll down, we'll actually find the image here. So we just add the image. Over here, it's, it's where we actually tell it what image we're looking for. So in here, it says, what image do you want to get? We, um, we're just going to upload from our media library. Uh, in this case, we can have some here. If we want to grab one from a computer, you simply upload a file. It will appear here, and then we can add it. So in this instance, I'm just going to put um, this logo in here uh, as a placeholder. So that's our page created, guys. Now, when somebody fills this information in, it automatically gets captured within the database. The next thing we want to find out is what, what's going to happen after they fill in the form. So if I highlight the form here because we've got the orange box around it, if I move down to the bottom here it says what do you want to happen after the form. So we could set something up when we created the form, we didn't do that so we're actually going to look down here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to say take it to the next step, right, or to the URL and the URL would be whatever your domain and 
So if you're giving away a PDF, for example, you would have the link to wherever you store the PDF online, if that's up in your Google Drive or wherever it might be, you would just put that link in here. So that's a very simple way of giving something away as a lead magnet. Uh, if I want to go back in here, for example, and we've got a number of lead magnets, I can change that image by just going back in here, go to our media library. Um, I'll look at this one here, which is the D database reactivation ebook we give away. So if I just double click on that, it will actually put that image in here and we can publish that and save it. So we'll save it first. We can ignore the SEO because we, we don't want people to find this page on their own. And then we go publish. That takes it out of draft. Here it's asking me what domain we want to connect to so that people can find it. I've got our shortened version of more marketing ideas mastermind domain name. So I usually pick that. We save that. And now I can back out of, uh, make sure that it's published. I'll just click it again for safety. And then we'll back out of this stage one, one step. And when we look at the settings up here, I'm just going to go to settings. It's actually got demo. I'm going to re remove that numbers that it put in here. And I'm just going to save that by moving down here and hitting save. And now if I want to preview this page, I just click on the preview button up here. So it's, it says visit the funnel URL. So that's the URL and it brings it up and there's our page. Okay guys, very simple, nice and easy way to get people into your database. And that's really what databases are all about. It's capturing the people's details and then you can follow up with them. The next video we'll talk about automations of what happens once people fill in that form.